Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Digital Productivity Episode 2. Today I'll be sharing with you my to-do list system, how I use it, the applications I would recommend. The timestamps will be linked down in the description if you want to skip around. But anyway, let's get into the video. And if you haven't seen the previous video of my first episode of the Digital Productivity Series, that will also be linked down below. I go over how I use Google Calendar and how that is the first pillar, in my opinion the first pillar, but one pillar of the Digital Productivity System that I wish to be sharing with you in this series. In our lives, we have lots of tasks that we need to get done, whether that be schoolwork, freelance work, chores, anything like that. We need a way to organize them and a to-do list system is perfect for this and it really helps with our productivity and workflow, especially as the system that I use, which I'll be sharing in a sec. I can organize them into different projects and that is really helpful. Some argue that the actual writing of a task that need to get done is more important than the actual doing of the task because it's your accepting that you need to do the task. This is especially true because it gets rid of the stress of needing to remember what needs to get done because you have an easy system that you can just look and find and see what needs to get done and when. Also, writing a to-do list not only allows you to organize what tasks have a higher priority for you and what you do first, it also allows you to feel more organized and gives you a sense of mental clarity. This links back to the idea of building a second brain and that our brain is for coming up with ideas, not necessarily storing them. I'll be going more in depth on this in a later episode when I show you my note-taking system. But for now, let's just continue on my to-do list system. There are many applications that you can use for your digital to-do list. The one that I use is called Todoist. I prefer that out of all the ones that I've tried. I've tried many different applications of digital to-do lists. This is the best one in my opinion for what I need it for. So you can organize your projects. They have different sections, which I'll show you soon. And there are loads of other ones such as Things, which is really good, but that's only available on iOS. I would recommend trying it out if Todoist doesn't click for you and you don't, you just, it doesn't feel like it works properly. Um, so Things is another one. I'll put the links down below. There's also an application called Wonderlist. You could use the Google Keep app, which has a section for making to-do lists. There are many different ways you can do it. You could use just paper. Um, as I said, I'll use paper plus Todoist, which I'll be showing you very soon. But yeah, that's my application of choice, Todoist. And I would try things as well if Todoist doesn't work just right for you. So now I'm going to be showing you Todoist, exactly like different sections that I have, how I use it. And then I'll be showing you the combination that I use with paper. So let's go into the computer. And I'll be showing you that. So we are now in Todoist and I'm going to be showing you all the different sections and how it all works. So here we can see the today section. So these are the different things that I have left to do for today. So oh, actually the right slash plan this episode that I'm filming now, that's done. Um, I'm filming that now, so I'll tick that off once this is finished filming. Um, and there's just other things that I have to do for today. And yeah, you just put in what you have to do for the day. But well, how I usually use Todoist is that I go to the next seven days and then I write down the tasks that I need to get done. So for example, tomorrow, if I needed the task of editing this video, so editing digital productivity episode two, I'll write that in there and then it's done. And all the tasks that I need to be done. If I needed to uh, post a video, um, Instagram post, whatever, whatever tasks I needed to get done, I don't know, um, go to the shop, I don't know, whatever I had, events that I had going on don't usually end up going on here because these are tasks that I need to get done. As I said in my Google Calendar, that's where events have go. So yeah, say so I need to get that get, get done, that would go, it'd go into the, to, and then once I've done that, on the day, I go look at today, and then what I end up doing is I write it in a notebook, which I'll be showing you very soon, but I'm just finishing showing this first. The inbox section, that is just where you can just chuck ideas in, see what you've got. It's like things that you put in there don't actually have a date yet. The project sections, so I'll just show you this now. So all like different sections that you have in your life, you have a different project for. Here we can just see, uh, let's just jump in here. We see I've got a template section. That's where I have templates for things. So like my video workflow, um, we can see here SEO, keyword research, my points. Um, for my script, my B-roll shot list, shoot the A-roll, so A-roll is like when you talk to the camera, the B-roll is like the stuff that is going over the A-roll, so like if I had a shot of to do to do list, like the screen recording, that's like the B-roll. We can just see different sections, so A-levels, 
these are all like empty now because they're all from down I'm finished with that my name so all the efforts that i have here on my personal brand and all the content that i'm doing online um, we can go into filmmaking slash photography and you can see that is sections of videos of ideas that have come up for my youtube channel and different um, ones that i'm going to make in it at a certain point so if i've made it i'll take it off and then it's done that's not done so i'm going to undo it uh, we can see my weekly email newsletter so i can you can see here issue 11 to 15 15 like each uh, one i'm going to do i usually tend to add another five every like time it comes to um, section so i might put issue 16 issue 17 and keep doing that until like there's only a few left and add some more and i have just that um every sunday that's when i do that if you want to subscribe to my weekly news that there'll be a link will be down below so you, um, you have different sections so you have labels filters like different priorities so you can prioritize things i tend to just um organize them in what i'm going to do first just by using this these six dots here and just drag it and move it around to see what i'm going to do that's test tend to how i use use it but there you go now let me show you the Todoist and paper combination. As well as having a well-organized digital to-do list system, when it comes to my day-to-day -day tasks, I write them down on paper in this notebook. How I tend to use my notebook for my to-do list is that I write down the date and why at the top. Then I write my tasks symbolized by a square and tick them off once they are completed. I don't really use an X because I prefer to put a tick as it shows that we have success in completing the task. And I use different signifiers depending on what I'm writing down for the day. So it's kind of like a bullet journal. So I use a square for a task, a tick for a completed, a forward arrow for a migrated, a back arrow for a scheduled, a circle for an event. As I said, most events go in Google Calendar and a asterisk for a priority and a, um, a dash from the left to the top right for things that are in progress. I believe it is really important to have this why part written down because it allows us for reflection on what we are working on. So just summing up about my to-do list system, uh, Todoist is my application of choice and there are many great reasons for using a to-do list system such as the productivity and workflow increase it gives us. Um, I would recommend Todoist as I said, you can also try other apps like Wonderlist and things. And the way that I use Todoist, I organize them into different projects, so the different aspects of my life. That links back to the Google Calendar, different aspects of your life. You've seen that in the first episode. And I plan a bit in advance, so like using the next seven days features on Todoist for what task I'm gonna get done. And then on the day, like in the morning, I write what I'm gonna get done in my notebook, as I showed you. So that's pretty much for all of it. Thanks a lot for watching today's video. If you did like it, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. You can follow my photography work and for video work on Instagram. And you can sign up to my weekly email newsletter down below where I share productivity tips and other content related to what I create on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.